What's going on everybody? Today I'm just gonna do a quick little overview of my new uh, e-bike. This is the M2S All-Terrain 750. Um, I was previously into road biking and some of my buddies got out of that, so I sold my road bike and uh, funded this thing right here. I really would have never thought that I would have bought a bike specifically for uh, the woods or hunting in general, but after only having this for a couple weeks, I'm kind of surprised why I waited so long to get one. Um, for me, I'm able to leave my house here and get to three or four different properties where I hunt at and where I spend a lot of time. And uh, instead of loading up the truck and loading all my gear into the truck, um, I can just put it on this. I can put my backpack on my back with my bow attached to my uh, backpack and then just take off from the house and uh, not have to worry about where to park at and um, just so much easier uh, getting to the woods and also um, I'm going to show you here in a second but I'm going to take this and uh, take the camera with me and just show you kind of how it does and go check a trail camera and um, like I say I've only had it a couple weeks but just wanted to to show you in its early stages because I'm going to be doing um, a lot of modifications to it, a lot of DIY stuff. I've got some ideas what I'm going to do on the rear rack there as far as mounting a bow and a rifle. So make sure and subscribe, follow along to see uh, what I'm going to do to this project and then as well as future hunting videos. So I'll just go through a few of the key components here. Um, this comes with the Kenda Tire Juggernaut um, 4 inch fat tire. These Kenda Juggernaut tires are 5 PSI all the way up to a max of 30 PSI. Um, so you know whenever you're in mud or snowy conditions, you can take the air out of it all the way down to 5 PSI and then, you know, just get a lot better traction that way. Uh, it does have a hydraulic front fork here. Gives you some suspension. And then it does have the lockout. This lockout is all the way forward. And then back, you have this suspension. Then up front, you have a front headlight that's powered by this very large. This right here is your battery. And then getting up to the control panel, got this button here. This is your power button. See that powers it on. And then this has, and this has a lot of different options how you can set this up. But um, up here just has the speed. Right here's the battery indicator. I have three bars left. And I've done this on one charge, 21.1 uh, miles so far with three bars left. And then this PAS is pedal assist. So go over here to the plus. The higher this is, the more your rear motor is going to work. And if you go to level nine, uh, while you're pedaling it, this thing will just flat out cruise. Lots of power. And then you hold on the plus on the up button. I don't know if you can see that, pretty sunny out here. But hold on the up button and your front headlight will come on. And then it is the 750 model powered by a Bafang 750 rear hub motor. And then in the back, you've got a powered tail light. And then it comes with a small little blinker there. So you can blink or you can just do steady. This is nice because some e-bikes online that I've noticed, they do not come with rear racks already installed or fenders. So this does have rear and front fenders. So this is where I'll be focusing a lot of my time. I've got some ideas um, on how to set up a system to carry either a pack and my bow or rifle or just a bow and a rifle. Put my backpack just on my back whenever I'm riding the bike. It does have decent components. It has the Shimano Acera uh, rear derailleur. It has front and rear hydraulic disc brakes, quick release front wheel. So this is your, like I mentioned, this is your battery here. Um, it has a button right here to show you what the power level is if you take this off of the bike. 
kind of hard to see but it shows three just like the readout did earlier um, to take this off I like the security of this it takes a key so you would just turn this to the unlock position lift this lever and you can pull your battery straight out to either charge it off the bike or you can just leave it on the bike and plug it in right here this little flip cap just wanted to show you the charger real quick I just have the charger lifted off the ground on a metal paper shelf that way the charger can breathe because it does get a, a little bit warm it does come with this nice large charger um, it gives you a red LED light whenever it is still charging and then it will switch to green once it is at full capacity but that's kind of a quick overview like I mentioned I've got some plans for it gonna make some additions to it I'm just gonna hook up this camera to the bike hopefully it's not gonna be too shaky um, and we'll just cruise down the road and I'm gonna go check a trail camera and uh, see how it does so as you can see here uh, pedal assist level 3 I have it in gear about 6 or 7 We're running 15 up a small little incline I can increase this pedal assist and you've also got a thumb button right here so we increased to 20 mile an hour just going up that hill I do get a slight rattle from my uh, kickstand going at higher speeds but luckily going through the woods it does not make a noise This is, this is just going with the throttle only, not pedaling. I'm at, running about 27 mile an hour. So now I'm gonna try to keep a hold of this camera and just drive through these tall weeds. Kind of show you how it does. I've just got it in pedal assist level one and then down in first gear. drive right in here to check my trail camera so is this an absolute necessity no but it's gonna make things a lot easier and it's gonna be a big time saver for me because I can leave the house and just go straight to the woods on my bike um, it's gonna be it's gonna save me time it's gonna be less ground scent in the woods and gonna be less sweat walking to the tree stand or coyote hunting whenever I um, or whatever type of hunting that I'm going to be doing so go ahead and like this video subscribe to see more updates to the bike and we'll talk to you soon see you guys bye